What's up, Facebook Live? Justin Beasley here with the City of Mount Juliet. That is Rocky Lee, our Parks Director, along with Aaron Farmer. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, Rocky, every other video you're on this, either I owe you a favor or you really do a lot for the city. Which one is it? <laughs> I, I don't know. Both? I mean, you're taking a chance making your camera every time I get on here. So, I mean, yep. you, you, you've got a lot of guts and a lot of cameras, apparently. Well, I'm willing to take that chance. All right, hey, this Christmas parade is sneaking up on us. It, it is, is. going to be here before we know it. We have a patriotic theme this year. Can both of you tell me what people can expect if they're going to come on the 11th? Starts at 11 a.m. Hey, first, I'd like to introduce Erin Farmer. Erin Farmer is a city. She's an events coordinator for the Parks Department. She's doing a great job for us. And she's really got the task of keeping all these events in order, keeping up with the parade routes, keeping up with the lights. How, who's who's got contest lighting going on and stuff? If you want to, you can tell them a little bit about that, Erin. Well, the, the lighting contest is for residential and commercial. We're excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, we'll be going around judging, and that award, those awards, will be given at our um, tree lighting. We tried to combine the parade and the tree lighting this year. Didn't quite go the way we thought, but we're excited for the tree lighting too. And of course the parade. We have a patriotic Christmas. We're so excited to honor our veterans this year. We have a lot of them. You're going to see a lot at the beginning of the parade, and we can't wait to see them. We can't wait to see you there. And you have until Sunday for the Christmas Across Mount Juliet Holiday Lighting Contest to get everything in. And don't register before your lights are done because when, when you register, we're out there looking at your house and, and putting it in the judging contest. That's it. Exactly. And it's the Parks Board is the one that's really sponsoring the tree lighting contest. It's coming off your Parks Board. And Friends of Mount Juliet Parks and Rec is the one putting the bill for this. And there's six different, I think there's six different categories. There's, there's a Griswold Award. There's the best... Uh, Best theme award. Classic, wasn't there? A the classic? classic Christmas, and then I think it's uh, right outside of the city limits. That that's the neighbor outside. That's the neighboring uh, mm -hmm. award right. right there. For anybody outside of city limits, we're getting one. Out. Then it's best business and best business on runner up. Right. But we really want to pay a special thanks to Chuck Workman, and his brother Chuck Workman with Shallow Baptist. They're the ones putting on the light tree lighting. They're trying to make us a, a yearly annual event. Yeah. With the city where we light a tree. We have a big tree and they're responsible for bringing this tree in and everything. And we're doing a little bit with them, trying to promote this and we're trying to accommodate the parade with the tree lighting. And we're like everybody, if you come to the parade, please about three, 3.30, come down to the RTA, to the clock tower. The tree will be set up there and at 4.30, they'll be doing the magical lighting of the tree. And real quick, uh, back to the holiday lighting contest. We have 40,000 people here, uh, almost. A lot of people have decorated their house after Thanksgiving has passed. All you have to do is sign up online and kind of be a part of the community and have some fun and kind of kind of grow this thing into something we're hoping to become five, 10 years down the road where uh, you're almost the outlier if you're not doing it in town. Exactly, there was 113 entries last year. We're looking to beat that this year. We've already got, we're pushing 60 right now. And like I said, you have to December the 5th the judges are going to be coming out just any day now. There'll be some judges sent out to start for the people who signed on early. They'll be start judging now. And like I said, you'll get a sign for your yard, but you, we're not going to give them out to the day of the tree lighting. We'll award the winners in. You'll have a sign going to your yard like Best Patriotic Lighting. Uh, we'll also be giving away uh, gift certificates to the winners. And we're really excited about it. I think it's going to be a really good thing. We're trying to make it something annual. All right, let's talk more of the parade. Let's go over here. Walk with okay. me, if y'all will, Aaron and Rocky. So kind of give us the lay of the land. We're here at Mount Juliet League Park with how everything's going to look with everybody as far as the dignitaries, fire, police, how everybody's going to set up, make this a well-oiled machine. Okay, up at the front, as you come in, if you're familiar, and just about anybody watching this familiar with Mount Juliet League Park, at the front is where the dignitaries will be. And that'll be all of your commissioners, the city judge, uh, the grand marshals. county, the grand marshal, county mayor, uh, state representatives. They'll all be at the front, along with Santa Claus. He's our biggest dignitary here. The kids want the kids want to see. And starting here in the back, this is where when you come in with your float, you'll come in by Publix. You'll come down the back and come in by Publix and check in with two people. You'll make the route coming around here. And this will be your staging area. This is where we're hoping to put roughly 100 floats this year. And uh, wow. we had 60 something last year during the COVID. We're already up at that number now. And the shut, the cutoff for that is what, December the 8th? December the 8th, you have until have two days, three days before the parade. 
Tell us somebody new to town, how can they get involved with that? You go to the website, Mountain Dew City website, all the information is there. It's a $10 fee, and all that is for is we give that to uh, Shop with Cops. It's a great organization. They take the kids out, local kids, and the police officers here take them shopping to get them there. For kids, who's not going to have a Christmas. And it's just a great deal. And, and we work well with Mountain Dew City Police. They're a great organization. If you know them, you love them. And can you speak to the 11th at 11 a.m. with this parade? How, how big of a deal this is for the city of Mount Juliet to make a good representation for all the new people that are moving in from various different states or counties and want to call Mount Juliet home. They're going to feel at home and they're going to really feel how special we know this place to be on the 11th. Oh, they, they pack the road. I mean, like I said, we'll turn out on Lebanon Road and it'll be packed wall to wall with kids and adults. And it is, it is a very special thing here. We, we bring them out. If there's 40,000 people live here, I think 50,000 come to the parade. I mean, it's, it's lined up. It's a two and a half miles from here to East Division where it ends. And it is wall to wall people. And we love it. The people love it. And it's, it's one of our biggest events of the year. It's a Christmas parade. And again, the theme is a patriotic Christmas. So get your red, white, and blue. Get your float. And come on out and join us, guys. I love the theme. And Aaron, can you add anything as far as... Uh, you know, logistics around the parade, when the streets are going to close, how early the judging is going to be and whatnot. The streets will close at 1045. Last year we had some people a little surprised. It was our first year on Lebanon Road. We had some people using Lebanon that were not quite ready for that yet. So 1045, this road will close. It will stay down for a good hour and a half. Okay. Yeah, probably an hour and a half. About an hour and a half. And this is really, truly, if, if they're from somewhere else, this is a hometown. This awesome. is little groups. This is people pulling wagons. It's fantastic. The first time I came here, I loved it. And we will be sure to remind everybody of the road closures and the logistics around all of that uh, as we get closer to the parade. Anything that we have missed that you think would add to what people need to know about with these three different events? And one thing I'd like for you to come out and see is this year, the Grand Marshals is something special. It's near and dear to everybody's heart. It's veterans from all the past uh, wars we've had. We'll have veterans from the Korean War, we'll have them from the Vietnam War, we'll have veterans from the Gulf Wars, and we'll have my way veterans that are present day. And those will be our Grand Marshals this year riding up front. So please come out and pay tribute to these guys. Awesome. They've sacrificed great. And if you have any questions, see Rocky in person or talk yep. to the Mount Juliet Parks and Rec. Call us at uh, 6, 758 6522. Yep. Okay. And, and we, we can answer anything you got. Chuck Workman too, because in addition, the tree lighting is going to have food vendors. And there's going to be a musical program there, a 30-minute musical program. So there's a lot going on around that tree lighting if they want to check in. Last pitch for somebody on the fence that's thinking about it. Why should they be here? Hey, come on out, guys. You, I'm telling you, this is one of the best parades you've been to, that you've ever gone to. This will be it. And 55 you, degrees and only partly cloudy. Hot dog. Perfect day. <laughs> Sign me up. Hey, we'll see you all there. Thank you all for the time. Aaron, congratulations. We're Thank glad you. to have you here and glad to Thank introduce you. you and. Uh, we like Rocky, too. Rocky, thanks for being here. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you, buddy. <laughs> we'll see you all soon. If you have any questions, let us know here on this Facebook Live. We'll do our best to answer them uh, before the end of the day. Thank you all. Yeah, it looks